Welcome to Coach Edward and today we are looking at the unbelievably talented Italian distance running coach, Renato Canova. CoachEdward.net Like and subscribe for more. And what is Renato Canova's claim to fame? Well, Renato Canova's claim to fame is he has coached more distance running um, big city marathon champions than any other distance running coach. He's the running coach that is behind the entire elite squad of both Ethiopia and Kenya. And even China has sent their elite distance running squad across to Kenya to be coached directly by Renato and to bring things even more closer to home as far as the really um, recent past. I'm sure many of you will recall the superb effort that was put in by Mary uh, Kaitani at the London Marathon just this past weekend, where she took down Paula Radcliffe's all-women world record by 41 seconds and coming within two minutes of Paula Radcliffe's all-time world record to set the second fastest women's marathon time in history, and this at the age of 35 years old. And uh, Mary Caetani is coached by, guess what, Renato Canova himself. And what Renato Canova had to say about his coaching methods and things is that he coaches all of his athletes at altitude. And he coaches all of his athletes using um, interval training, using high intensity, his own specialized high intensity training methods at high altitude to be able to achieve these phenomenal results. So by applying high altitude training and intensity training at high altitude, he's able to lift his athlete's hematocrit level so much higher than everybody else's, which is why there's so much better oxygen delivery to their muscles and why, as a group, they outperform everybody else on the planet. The, and the other thing that he does is he checks the each athlete's optimal um, running cadence or first he checks the optimal heart rate to be able to be functioning at lactate threshold and then he adjusts their running cadence to match that lactate threshold heart rate so that as they're running um, at full marathon pace their legs are basically turning over at exactly the same rate as what their heart is pumping so which means that the, the turnover of their legs act as an additional pump to be able to pump this high hematocrit level blood through their systems. It's a, a, a cadence type strategy that if I recall correctly was used exactly the same way with Lance Armstrong by none other than Michele Ferrari. Not that I'm saying that this, the other, this Italian coach, Renato Canova, is doing anything um, illegal with his athletes whatsoever. I mean, cadence at your lactate threshold is the optimum way to go if you've got the blood volume to be able to get, get the oxygen around your system. But Canova's gone a, a step further in recent weeks, especially taking into account that in total about a, um, a dozen or so of his elite athletes have been pinged for EPO over the course of the past year. And what Renato had to say was as follows, that um, EPO does not work for the top elite athletes that train with him. Because of his high altitude training and high intensity training at high altitude, that already pushes his athletes' hemoglobin hematocrit level up so much that EPO will not give the athletes any additional advantage whatsoever. So the fact that about a dozen of these athletes have tested positive must be they're probably using EPO just to make sure that testing to make sure that they can keep on beating the system as some other game. But be that as it may. But what Renato has to say is that EPO will only work with athletes that don't have the proper training and by proper training he's talking about the type of proper training that he's able to give his athletes. So, to my mind, this sounds, smacks 
all, almost identical to what Michele Ferrari said back about cycling in the 1990s. But that's just my opinion. What's your opinion? Post your comments, questions, criticisms in the comment section down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Share it out amongst your friends. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button that's down there. And last but by no means least, until the two of us meet again, stay carved up for the win. I'll see you next time. Cheers.